Well, hello, and welcome to QuipCon. So you're looking for a donut fryer, obviously, and you're wondering what kind should you get. Well, let me tell you what you want. What you want is this Avalon. And why do you want it? Well, because it's the one we have for sale. Uh, no, all kidding aside, you want it because it's all stainless steel, these stainless steel sides, no paint to scrape off, no rust, um, very simplistic. Now, by simplistic, I mean... They have on this donut fryer the things that you need to fry donuts. They don't have a lot of other things that nobody uses anyway. There is one donut fryer out there that I know for sure that has where you have to put in an access code to change the temperature on the fryer. Now, how many people are secretly changing your temperature? Seriously. Simplistic, very easy to work on. And I might add the Avalon company, if you have a problem, you give them a call. They literally bend over backwards to help you. I've actually seen them do it. It's quite amazing. Uh, this has a thermostat, which you need to turn the temperature up and down. Power switch. Let me show you on this thermostat, too. Inside here, there's an adjustment. It leaves a little bitty screwdriver. So you can adjust the thermostat. Say it's not quite right to your uh, oil. You turned it up to 350. Your thermometer says the oil is 375. No problem. Turn it up to 375. Take your little screwdriver, turn it till it clicks, and you've got it. Now, it's probably something that you want somebody uh, who knows what they're doing to do, but it's there. You can adjust it if you need to. A couple contactors in the back to turn the elements on and off. Over temperature sensor. Uh, drain table right here. Let me open that up and show you how great that works. Nice solid drain table. Got cutouts here for the oil to run back inside. Uh, hold down screen, take a look at this fancy little latch here to hold it up. You don't have to do anything. You just give it one flip of the wrist and it clicks in place. Elements, thermostat and over temperature probe in there. Uh, got a nice little uh, rail here for your fry screen to sit on so you're not putting all the pressure down on the elements. Very good idea. Saves the problems with elements breaking and cracking. Uh, let me turn it on. A power switch. Now when I turn this on, you're going to hear one contactor click in. You hear that. You know what? I turned this up showing you. Let's start over. When I turn this on, pretend you didn't hear that. When I turn this on, you're going to hear one contactor click in. Click. There it was. That's what it's supposed to do. Now as I turn this up and it gets to temperature, you'll hear the other one click in. Listen carefully. There it is. Now, I can show you the elements are working. We don't want to leave it on too long because we don't want to uh, overheat the elements without uh, oil in there. You really shouldn't turn it on. You can see we're drawing 12 amps on each one. I'm going to turn it off. Now, turning it on a short time like that absolutely is not going to hurt anything. If it did, I wouldn't do it. But uh, it's a good way to show you that it works. You don't want to buy anything on the Internet. Hang on. We got uh, that element is at uh, 200 degrees, basically, 190, 198. So you can see the elements are heating up, doing a great job. You don't want to buy anything off the Internet that you don't know that it works. Uh, things can look good and not work. That's why we do these videos. My sister, she got her husband off the Internet. He looks good. He doesn't work. Anyway, we'll turn this on. This is the... Uh, pump obviously right here it goes right down inside here this is the pump garage you drain your uh, oil down from the drain right here into the pump and it will go through the filter which is right down here also goes through this screen first to catch the big chunks and then goes down into the filter and the pump pumps it back around of course you know all this you've probably done this before but I uh, just want you to know how well this works it is so so wonderful um, we've got mineral oil in there. It's a very important thing. If anybody tries to demonstrate one of these pumping water through it, well, it looks good, but in a week or so, this pump right here is going to get all rusty and bound up and not work. You don't want to run water through these and let water sit in the pump. Not a good idea. They're not made for water. They're made for oil. So we're going to run mineral oil through it. And that'll keep everything nice and shiny and clean on the inside uh, while it's in our warehouse until someone buys it. Okay, you want to turn it on. Now 
How's that for a view? All right. Well, you know that it works. The most important thing. You know that it looks good. Next important thing, because if it looks good and it don't work, you know, you're back to my brother-in-law. If it looks good and don't work, well, it's not really going to do you much good. This one looks good, works good. You know that. We have went through everything on it. Uh, if you have any questions, something that I didn't tell you about, which I don't think that that's possible, you can give us a call. Our phone number is 636-583-8200. You can see some beautiful pictures of this thing on our website, which is www.quipcon. That's Q U I P. CON.com. There'll be a link there to our eBay store where you can buy it.